This is a video on the difference between means. The question states, is there a difference in LDL levels between vegetarians and those on medication? Suppose it is known that for vegetarians, sigma sub V is equal to 25. For those on medication, sigma sub M equals 20. Of 55 randomly selected vegetarians, and 50 on medication, their mean LDL levels were 118 and 109, respectively. Use alpha equals 0.01. So let's write down our null and alternative hypotheses first. For the null hypothesis, we want to find out if there's a difference between the mean LDL levels so if I let mu sub v be the mean for the vegetarians and mu sub m be the mean those on medication, then H naught is mu sub v equals mu sub m. H1, since we want to find out if there's a difference, not less than or greater than, H1 is that mu sub v is not equal to mu sub m. So let's write down our cast of characters. We have the sample size for the vegetarians was 55 because there were 55 selected vegetarians. The mean for the sample of vegetarians was 118, that's given. And sigma sub v, the standard deviation for the vegetarians, is 25. For those on medication, the sample size for them was 50. X bar for those on medication was 109. And sigma sub m, the standard deviation for those on medication, was 20. So now let's use our calculator. So here's the calculator. Let's first find out what the z critical value is. Since we're using a level of significance, alpha equals 0.01, and we have a two-tailed test, that means each tail is going to have half of that area, where each tail will have 0 0.005. So I go to second, distribution, and then inverse normal, or m norm, which is number three, and then point zero zero five and the parentheses and that will give me the z critical value which is rounded to two decimal places that's about negative two point five eight and then remember that with a two tail test we also have positive two point five eight for our z critical value so now let's go back and perform the test by going to stat, tests, and this time we're given the standard deviation of the populations, and we have two samples, and this is a question with means and standard deviations. It's a, they are quantitative variables. So I use the two samp z test, which is number three. And I am given statistics, so stats are fine. I use the down arrow. Sigma 1, I'm going to call 1 the vegetarian data, and then I'm going to call 2 those on medication data. So sigma sub 1 is 25. Sigma sub 2 is 20. X1 bar is 118. N1 is 55. X2 bar is 109. 
N2 is 50. Our hypothesis, or our H1, is that mean, the mean for the vegetarians is not equal to the mean for those on medication. So I click on the not equal to mu2. So mu1 is not equal to mu2. And go down to calculate and hit enter. So there's our Z statistic, our test statistic, which is about 2.05. The p-value is about 0 0.04. And the rest are data that we've already put in. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. OK, so we have a Z, which was about 2.05. And we have a p-value, which was about 0 0.04. And if you remember, we had our Z critical values of about negative 2.58 and positive 2.58. So on a picture, the rejection regions are the two tails to the left of negative 2.58 and to the right of positive 2.58. And in between is the fail to reject region. The Z value that we got was 2.05 about. And we can see that 2.05 is right here in the fail to reject region, in between negative 2.58 and 2.58. So we definitely see we fail to reject. If we use the method of p-values, then p is about 0 0.04, alpha is 0 0.01. The p-value is greater than alpha. So we failed to reject the null hypothesis. And that's because the probability that if the null hypothesis was correct and we were to conduct another study with the same sample sizes, then there would be a 4% chance of getting a result as far from having equal means as we had or farther. And 4%, we're going to consider that to be a pretty high percent chance because 1% is our borderline where under 1% we're considering a low percent chance and greater than 1% we're considering a high percent chance. And since that's a pretty high percent chance that this would happen just by random chance, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So now I'm ready to state my conclusion. We can conclude that we fail to reject H0, and there is insufficient evidence to conclude that there is a difference between mean LDL levels for vegetarians and those on medication. And I'm done with the problem.